What's up guys? So today we're looking at a very unique knife from Marbles. Um, this one is called a uh, safety knife. And I recently did a trade for this. Uh, but real quick, even though it has nothing to do with this knife, the person I traded with uh, sent me this, which is super classy. I really like this. Uh, I've been trading knives for over 20 years and I've never seen this before. And I just want to show it real quick. I thought it was really, really cool. I actually typed out all the specs on the knife. That is just really, really nice. I don't know, just, it's a first. So thank you for that. And the first, the top part of it says, what is Yabo? As most of you guys know, Yabo means yet another box opening. So anyway, uh, on to the knife. This is again, a safety folder. I believe this is a model 204. Yep, which is on, of course, the specs. I referenced my spec sheet. Thank you for that. So yeah, a Marbles model 204. All right, so here's the box. You can see a timepiece for every hour in the open. All right, and the marbles with the moose. Uh, if it's marbles, it's quality. You can pause right there and read all that if you like. But anyway, their signature bright orange color. This happens to come with a very nice pouch. And here's a knife, which is quite unique. Yeah, this pouch is actually just beautiful. Very plush inside. Just perfect for storage. Won't scratch it up or anything like that. Yeah, so here it is. This is actually a knife design that goes back to the very early 1900s uh, is when it was patented. There's been multiple companies that actually use this design. Uh, one of them, which was Benchmade. Uh, there was a model from Benchmade called the LFK. And I believe it just stood for large folding knife. And it was the same design where you had a larger blade, a longer blade than the handle. So in order to fold the knife, obviously extends past the handle, you'd have this little extra extended guard. All right, so you don't have an exposed edge. So the Benchmade model, which I wish I could show you, I've done a review on it before, but that's long been traded many, many years ago. If you find one, it's probably gonna be pretty expensive, but it's a pretty cool knife. Uh, with that design, when you open the blade, this would automatically retract inside the handle. And in the Benchmade, I believe it was fully inside the handle. Uh, with this particular knife, you have two things going on. When you uh, open it, you can see this is also a swing guard. So this actually is a pivoting guard. There's a pin through here. So as you open it, it swings into this position here, which keeps your hand from riding forward, which is very nice. Um, but this also locks the blade. This is one of the early locking knife models, all right? So when that is closed, you can't close this knife, all right? There's a little bit of wiggle, just barely, but you cannot close that knife, all right? So that's why it was called the safety knife. So you have a lot of blade, a lot of reach with a you know smaller handle. Very cool, and believe it or not, even though this is sticking up, it's super comfortable. This basically creates a finger choil for your pointing finger to go, and then the rest of your fingers just ride on the the rest of the handle there, all right? Feels very secure, again, with that guard. You're not gonna ride up, even if you had to stab something, your hand's not gonna ride down on that edge. We take a closer look at the handle scales. This is a colored bone, and it has a really deep jigging pattern into it. It's just really, really nice. All right, see the other side. Just, I mean, really beautiful, very classic look. Now this particular one is a modern take on this knife and pretty affordable. It's actually just under 30 bucks a lot of places that you can find it. Um, this one happens to sport a 440A stainless steel, so it is uh, soft. You can certainly use the knife, you know, even though it's a cheaper steel and it's a cheaper knife, it's very usable. It's just you have to maintain that edge and sharpen it. It would dull out fairly quickly with use. Uh, very cool Bowie style blade or buoy, depending on who you're talking to. But a uh, little bit of a lacking tip, so it's kind of a rounded tip here. You could reprofile if you really wanted to. There is a very large swedge, but it's not sharpened. All right, it's just ground down. But just uh, really, just fascinating knife. I like this a lot. And I wanted this for the collection. It was actually offered me uh, by a college student. Liked the knife, but it was just too big. So he wanted something a little bit smaller, something a little bit more modern, and we worked out a trade. I actually traded a uh, QSP knife for this. But I want it for my unique knife collection because this is certainly unique, has a lot of history, even though 
This particular one is not all that old. Uh, a lot of the older ones, you know, from the 30s and 40s, they had uh, carbon steel, much more sought after, much more expensive if you find those. Uh, but just, I mean, just a beautiful knife. It is super classy, it is very unique, and it is very usable. So again, to unlock this, you're just going to retract that back out. It does have a half stop here. Okay, very, very strong, strong back spring on this, all right? And that half stop is needed, so again, for safety, so you can remove your fingers. So let's say you're holding it like this, and you go to close it, your fingers are in that channel. Without that half stop, if this, you know, sprung closed, obviously you cut yourself. But at this point, you can change your grip to make sure that you don't have anything in the way of that cutting edge. All right, and there it is in the closed position again. You can see there is a hole cut into this. If you want to put a lanyard on there, you certainly could. If you used even something as thick as 550, once this is opened, that lanyard would be sticking out this way and go in between your pointer finger and middle finger. So it really wouldn't be a big deal. It would just be hanging out that way, all right, as far as your grip with a lanyard. I personally wouldn't put a lanyard on it, but you certainly have the option if you wanted to. Yeah, because, I mean, there's no pocket clip or anything. So if you want this just in the pocket, a lanyard hanging outside the pocket, it might be easier to grab. But just really cool. Just wanted to make a video on that. Again, thank the person that I did a, uh, a trade with. It's a very cool piece of history and a different, you know, old style. I want to say slip joint. It's technically not a locking knife. I mean, if you want to be technical about it, but it does... Uh, it does have more of a lock than a traditional slip joint with this uh, folding guard. And if you look again by design, and you can see the tang ends there. As you close this, this goes right underneath the base of that blade. All right? That's why it, it can't move forward. But just really, really cool. So that's it. That's a Marbles Model 204, the safety knife. If you guys have ever seen this, let me know down below. Marbles has a couple cool, unique designs. They actually have a, a folding buoy, uh, which maybe eventually I'll get. And it's a much, much larger knife that comes in a sheath, but same deal. You have a smaller handle and a massive blade. The handle unfolds. There's actually a piece here by the bolster that pivots, that kind of locks it in that open position. Just pretty unique designs. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you've ever seen something like this before. But uh, I mean, I've seen them. I just never had an opportunity to trade for one until now. So now I have one for the collection. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you soon. Take care.